Welcome everyone. This is where we're at so far with our gearbox. Got our got some flywheels or drive shafts in there and got some gear and everything. Got this is gonna I'm pretty sure this is gonna be what determines first, second, reverse, forward, something like that. <laughs> I've seen I've seen the inside of transmissions before, but I can't remember it's been so, you know so rare that I, I don't really have a good memory of them. But anyway, that's where we're at so far. It's got the, that much of a structure in. And if all goes well today, I'm going to go do this uncut. Because I've got several pieces laid out in front of me. And I don't think I've overestimated how much I can get done in one day. <laughs> but, like I say, they're all prepped and sanded and ready to go, I hope. Get down there. Alright. So, first part should be relatively simple. So start with the U gears going up and the little arrow tab going that way. These are not a snug fit, they just slide right on. Whoop, other way. <laughs> and this guy goes with the you have the pointed end and the rounded end, and we want the pointed end to go up. Yeah. And you go... Okay, those slots into these these tabs into those slots, evidently. Okay, that sort of holds that whole structure together a little bit. Get you all the way in. Get some stray splinters out of the way. Now, this guy like so, and these got these slots here for these, for these. <laughs> there you go. Oh, those are not in yet. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I got them all. Okay, so now we've actually got the full stand going. Got the uh, U-Gears logo prominently displayed, as it should be. And then what else am I doing here? Okay, now, I always hate doing this because these are nice. They always give you nice, chunky rubber bands for, to do this with, but you got to cut it to make you, your feet or your anti-slip grips. Supposed to be 15 mil, and they've given us a nice 15 mil measurement doodad on the side of our tool. So about right there, and about right there. Okay. Now these guys. Oh, those aren't you know, on the bottom. I just noticed they had the little gap there. Okay, that tightened it up. Okay. Now, these go here and here. Well, y'all can't see that. <laughs> here and here. <laughs> like I said, it's a pretty standard U gears technique. You just wrap the rubber band over the tab and then. Pop them in. And that's our anti -grip, slip grip there. That's a little more constrained for the room, but I feel like it shouldn't be too difficult to get it up, sort of holding on. Okay. Easy enough. <laughs> and our. Still, still randomly checking to make sure those. Or lined up. It's hard to tell on the inside one, but I think it is too. All right, we got our. Still got a so, one solid piece of structure. I, I like that. That's just sort of comforting. <laughs> now, and that concludes page fourteen. So slide you right back there. And bring in the stuff for page fifteen. So we got you. 
you, you, and some little rings. Looks like, oh, ooh, get back over there. Lots of pieces on this step, it appears. <laughs> some pigs. Those and those. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing here? Take this one. Looks like it's got the dots on both sides, so it must not matter which way you go. And our pegs. Go in. Okay, make sure you get the right <laughs> holes. Cause some of them are vertical. These two are vertical, and these four are horizontal. Yep, yep. Ooh, get on in there. Alright, now I take this guy. And likewise, it's two of them are the opposite of the other, so you make sure everything lines up. Let's see there. Alright. Over here. Okay, this is going to be into there. Punish that in a little bit. It feels like it's going to spin print it plenty fine, so I'm, not, I'm still not going to worry about lubricating. And just keep stacking more of them on. <laughs> you. This. Um, this maybe supposed to be the clutch assembly. That's pro approximately the right place for that. Let's... Oh, yeah, I think I'll still be alright. Because I'm, I'm putting a lot of pressure on it right now. So it's... <laughs> and then this one like so. And four. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This. That's spinning nicely. I don't think that'll be an issue. I don't think there's enough friction there to stop us from operating. <laughs> okay. And no, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at it backwards. I was like, oh no, I put it on backwards. No, that's that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> Okay, now these guys, the, the different one goes on first. You go here, and these three. Now, these three go on top of those. Those are going to be our, it's going to be our handle to turn it with. Likewise, they're still spinning nice. <laughs> and now we slide this one down in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, still got good. Yeah, I'm feeling it. That's good. <laughs> All right. And that concludes page 15. And we got a little bit of cuticle here I'm going to take care of before I start. It's bugging me. There it went. <laughs> okay. On to page 16. Alright, so this goes. Combine the. Okay, so that's what these horizontal sl or vertical slots are for. It's for this guy to go through the other direction. And they're right there, just gotta... Don't want to cooperate. <laughs> okay, there one went, and now... One. Okay, there it goes now. Hmm. That, I'll leave. 
Okay, now it's spinning, but not, <laughs> not doing a good job with my. Okay, this may be where I should have put the lube in. But, but I think. Yeah, these get these holes. I think they go one, two. And that's now that's the central. Yeah, I think. I think. I think that once it gets. Hmm. Can't decide if I want to go. I'm still going to hold off on putting the lube in yet. Cause it, it, I say, I think once it gets, it doesn't feel tight until I'm putting torque on it. I'm putting it at a bind. I think. And it, I think if worse comes to worse, it I can, I can always get some in there if I need to. Because this side goes right up against the the frame, and this side I can get down to the frame. And that'll spread around inside the... Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it. <laughs> okay. Now. On to the next set of stuff. Got Another one of those dealios. <laughs> Doing a small one in the middle. So it's just... Yeah, just like we did yesterday. Make sure these... Uniform, but they're not they're just going to be yeah. right. Didn't go all the way. There you are and you Still, yeah, low to high and low to high. So this, so yeah, yeah. here okay let's go straight now <laughs> yeah there it went I think all right now this one yep that's it And have a, a probe here happens to be the perfect size for that to <laughs> get that working. Oh, got nice. And that finishes page 16. On to 17. Yet. More of those doodads. This guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So what am I doing here? So this guy, and just like before, we got the two dots and one dot. So low end goes to the one dotter. Mm -hmm. And big kudos to you, gears, for throwing this tool in. This this makes this so much easier. I'm just so trying to force it in with your fingers it it works but it 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 hurts after a little bit <laughs> and 
last one. Okay. Got you in place. So, all right, so. Now we get the frame back out here. And this guy. Hey, we'll make sure, double check all those, make sure they are. Yep. This guy goes here on the top. Yep, and it sort of lines up those. Excellent. That's what you want to see. Let me take these three. And this one goes on the bottom. To there. <laughs> Point and the little one in the middle. Dots on both sides, so it's not shouldn't matter. And then this guy on the outside. Are we supposed to line these guys? Any dots or anything up on these? I do not see. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I just noticed. I do have. Something I need to line up here. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, screwdriver. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Red handle. They didn't specify this, but it looks like the three up here is supposed to be, in the picture, the three up here is lined up on the same axis as the two. So I'm going to make sure and do that. They've got it. I don't know that it matters, but I'm going to do it like the picture says. <laughs> okay. That might be something to do with the gear spacing on there, but <laughs> better safe than sorry. And now this one on top. Mm. Oof, it's making a bad sound. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay, I got her on. Okay. And line you guys back up again. <laughs> That page seventeen. Okay, eighteen. Page eighteen. Got it. Oh, oh yeah. Got this guy from the last one. This little guy in that frame. Start off with this guy going on here. Okay, it's, and it does stop. It's got a stop on it, and it... Okay, whoop. Okay, yeah, let's get those lined up. Yep. <laughs> and then... Circle on the outside. Then... This dealio. Goes on here. Here, that frame up in there. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. Okay. And then we take this guy. Like so. Around all this stuff and those two tabs there. Okay. 
snug them on down. And there we go. And that's all for page 18. Puts us right at that 20 minute mark. I think, yeah, I'm going to have to be, it's going to take both hands to spin it, but I think that'll work. And everybody's lined up still on my gear issue. Yeah, that's looking good. That's a good transmission. And then down to four or five more pages. And I think we should be able to buzz through that tomorrow. Let's say I'm surprised how complicated this is because usually these are super simple and I guess it's not super complicated just sort of is more than I was expecting for one for one of these stem sets they're usually two days max but anyway I, I like it it's, this is interesting to sort of see how the transmission is going to work and how it's going to go together with the gear shifter over here but anyway folks Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.